Today we're going to talk about stuff sacks. I have two different types here. They're made by Outdoor Product. This one is uh, duty bags. There's uh, three in a pack. And we have dry bags. Now I just purchased these, so we're going to open them up real quick and uh, spread them out. Let you take a look. They come in three great colors. That way you can decide, you know, what goes in where and uh, be uh, really identified very fast. And the same with the dry sacks. They come in three colors. The only thing that is different between the duty bags and the dry sacks is they have a compression top on it where you can actually roll it up and seal the sack. And as usual, I'm fighting a windstorm. <laughs> but they also come in three different colors. I bet you're asking yourself, well, why do I need a stuff sack? Most of the time, I use Ziploc bags. They work just fine. But I like to keep my pack organized. And I'll tell you what, putting a loose item, like this is my down vest that I uh, wear sometimes, in the pack like this, it's just going to take up way too much room. So you take ba your basic stuff sack. Now I want you to remember how much this is. This is just if you just wad it up and throw it in the pack. See how much room that's going to take up? But if we put it in the stuff sack, I think there's a pair of gloves in there too. See how much room? You can actually tie this on the back of your pack or uh, put it towards the top or whatever, but it takes up less room and it's a little bit more organized. Now I was trying to think how to uh, test. They say these are waterproof. Well, I had a choice. I was going to throw some gear in there and just throw it in the lake and then fish it out later or wait for it to rain, which I think it's going to snow before that happens. I got to thinking, well, instead of putting water on it, let's fill them up with water. So with that idea, I'm going to take the little blue one here, which is a dry sack, and if you fold it up real tightly like this, it's supposed to make a real great seal. We're going to fill it halfway up with water. I'm also going to take just one of the dry bags and see how water resistant they are and fill it up with water. Now, I noticed on the uh, stuff set or the dry bag here, it's made of the uh, non rip or rip stop nylon. As in a duty bag, it's really not made of that. It's more of a canvas material. But it still feels like I think we're going to get some uh, water resistance out of that. So I'm going to move all this gear out of the way before I do it, because it's probably going to be a mess. And if you notice, I put a blue towel here, and it will show up the water uh, quite nicely if it starts leaking out. So we're going to start with just the regular duty bag. We got about a half a gallon of water in there. Well, I don't think that's going to keep your gear very clean. Or dry, I'm sorry about that. Let's move over to the uh, dry bag. Put a little water in it. Leaking yet, it's about a little bit more than a half gallon. Let's pour some of that out, shall we? A 
We're going to go ahead and roll it up. We have sprung a little leak inside here. That might be from packaging. Huh. Yeah, there's a little rip in the side, so that's a manufacturer defect. So I'm saying, uh, the duty bags, not very water resistant. The stuff sack, it's the dry bag. Actually, it's not bad if it wasn't for that little tear there. I'll tell you what, let's grab another one, put some water in it. Let's see, I think I have. Let's see what happens here if we put some water in this one. So I'm going to transfer the water from the blue bag into the orange one and see if that one springs a leak on us. As I spilled all over the place. I'll definitely say that's just a lot better. There's no water leaking out of it. So I'm going to have to say that the dry bags by Outdoor Products, really good purchase. You're going to keep your gear uh, basically dry in a heavy down, uh, downpour of rain. And the duty bags basically is a drawstring. I'm going to say this is going to be more for an organization. Uh, it's not going to keep your uh, gear dry in a heavy downpour, but still these are five dollars compared to, I picked these up for around ten dollars so in all in all the uh, outdoor product makes a really good uh, stuff sack and as always thanks for watching a little bonus footage and show you where we were filming at today. Here's the road in. Well, kind of a road. of the sky I probably need to pack it out real quick because I'm pretty sure I'm going to get wet or snowed on and a dry sack now the difference between the uh, duty bag <laughs> duty